Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. You know, it's very rare we get uh, a Chevelle with a matching numbers 396 still in it. You know, these engines were uh, designed to be performance engines and some were, as in most, uh, did not survive the test of time, right? We're doing this video in 2023. We are uh, heading to uh, the 60 year mark, 55, 60 year mark, right, of, uh, of these cars and as they as they deteriorate over time even still today there's fewer and fewer of them and finding one like this is pretty cool this is also set up to show you a couple different ways you could design this car to kind of make it your own so i'll talk about that when we get to the next section of it and uh we'll also take a walk around and see kind of how cool this really is it's like a cool car with a four speed i mean it's awesome all right uh let's get started all right, so let's talk about paint and some things that are kind of fun. When, this is a Winchester gray color, um, and while it is not an original color on the car, uh, that doesn't really hurt it. However, if you wanted to change the color to something that you really liked or really wanted, that could be done as well, which is kind of cool to think about that. In the case of this here, we have two stripes on the website. We have the white stripe, and we also have the red stripe on there. And we also have uh, the original white white wall tires, which are super expensive on here, and red line tires, which are also super expensive on there, depending on which way you want this to go, right? So if you want us to put the white stripe back on and leave the white letter or the white uh, stripe, or you like the red with the red lines, we could do that as well. So there's those kind of combinations that are on there. Um, again, we've got nice looking, decent paint, shiny under here, and then we'd like to do this uh, paint test here where you can still read all the letters nice and crisp and being able to see that. All right, so for many people owning a muscle car, they just like to drive it, which I think is awesome, right? Other people want to go to shows, right? They want to take it to a show, go to Cars and Coffee, do whatever. Inevitably, someone's going to want you to open the hood. It doesn't matter. When you own these cars, people want to see what's there. And this is beautifully detailed. Let's talk about that for a second, okay? So we have the correct uh, insulation under the hood here. This is painted uh, satin black like it's supposed to be versus painted all over. The battery topper in here. Uh, we also have some GM hoses in the right spots, the correct chrome valve covers with uh, the Chevy orange paint, the right call out for, uh, for having a 396 in the car. And as we look around, like the wiper motor is detailed, the uh, uh, washer fluid is here, overflow, like those little tiny things you may say, well, Tom, what's the big deal? Isn't it supposed to have that? Yes. But when you buy a car outside of here, a lot of times you're not going to get all of that stuff because we add a lot of those things in there because people don't do the right things to, to make it so that when you open the hood and you go to a, a car show, you're like, wow, that looks really good. All right, so 68 is a big model year change for these cars. They're very different looking than a 67, right? There's no mistaking the two. Uh, you definitely have a, a different style. We have tips. We have a completely different body change. Um, and from behind, they look very much more modern vehicles, all right? Uh, next, uh, this is kind of just arrived. So we're in the process of doing our thing. So we're uh, working our way through. And I just kind of wanted to show you what, like a before and after, if I could, please. So the car comes here, right? And it's missing the jacking instructions. It's missing the painting correctly of the trunk here in the splatter coat paint. It's missing uh, the spare tire cover. It's missing the uh, trunk mat, right? Those things are missing. Well, why are you doing this video tone before that? Well, because I want you to see the extra effort that it takes. We just finished the engine compartment waiting for the parts to arrive for these. They may already be here, but I wanted to get the video done and get it out. And now you can see, and we'll do the before and after as well, so you can see that. So when you open the trunk, you'll see the jacking instructions here. The mat will be there. This will have a nice cover on it. And it's just detailed, and that is the difference between, you know, maybe buying a car from a place that puts some spray wax on a car or sending you a car uh, that's definitely uh, been upgraded and had some of the fine details done to it. You know, the Chevelle was a very popular car and not many uh, were Super Sport 396s, not many were four speeds, not many are left matching numbers, not many are uh, pretty amazing. So you walk up to this car and you go, wow, this is really amazing. What I do love about this too is that this is really an authentic car. So let's get inside and I'll show you what I mean by authentic. All 
All right, so uh, so for instance here, here's a fault of the car that we need to fix and it would bother me and other people who sell these cars don't always do this stuff. For instance, this visor, right? It's supposed to be here. The reason it's not there is because the nub that goes at the end is probably original and over time it's just shrunk. So we'll replace that and this way it'll sit up the way it's supposed to. You say, well, Tone, is that really a big idea? What's a, what's a nub cost you? Well, a nub, believe it or not, doesn't cost a lot of money. It's a detail stuff that most people don't do. This here has the original AM radio in it. It has uh, the nice gauges that are on it, as well as a factory roller tack, which is mounted right inside here. It's really a cool tack where normally you would see the needle swimming back and forth. This one goes and rolls back and forth for uh, that. If you want, uh, what we do for a lot of people is they like to leave the dash stock and inside the glove box, we could hide a, mo hide a modern stereo system in it. For me, I think that's pretty neat because uh, here it looks old school, but you could stream your music, you could use Bluetooth, you could do whatever you want, and that makes it uh, special. Oops. There we go. Um, lastly, you got new carpets, you got new seat covers, you got new headliner, door panels, uh, the shifters like right here, right? Which is kind of nice too. Original factory, uh, super sport steering wheel. And then for some people, they don't love a bench seat. I like a bench seat, doesn't bother me at all. I think it's kind of cool. Imagine taking six people out, including yourself, uh, to go to dinner or go for a cruise or whatever. I mean, it's a game changer for all that. However, if you wanted to, and we do this for lots of people as well, is we convert this to bucket seats and a console, right? That can be done, just let us know. Uh, we can make that happen. And as you look around inside here, you see most everything is uh, either replaced, new or whatever. That is all I got to say about the interior, not to mention it's just comfortable, man. You're rolling down the road, you hit the gas, hitting this gear, hitting that gear, cigarette hanging out of your mouth, probably bad company playing on the radio, right? You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Been there, done that. Not that we need to do that anymore, but maybe back in the day we did. All right, so let's close up this video for a second. Let's think about this. It's a fresh body change, right? 68's that big change from the 67 uh, model car that was very square. It's kind of futuristic, very, very fast moving looking, right? You got, you got an SS hood, you got SS call outs. You got a big block, four speed car. You got a matching numbers engine in there too, right? And you got a detailed engine compartment, soon to be detailed trunk compartment. The interior is all new uh, and it's cool. And then you can pick a couple of things you wanted as well. This is a great driving, great sounding car. It's exactly what you want kind of in this original state. And I really feel like uh, wheeling down the road and working the shift or going to work one day or whatever. Uh, maybe even think about this, like go drive it to work on a Friday, call whoever it is you're on the way home see in a little bit and shut off your phone man you know get rid of your twitter feed facebook whatever bosses emails uh texting like all of that digital noise coming in right put on some music on your stereo right and wheel on home man it is a game changer anyway call us 301-816-1000 i'll tell you all about this super sport SS396. If you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. Helps us get the message out. Share it with your friends. They might like it as well. And subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And I will see you on the next one.